All right, welcome back. Let's talk about this Andrew Andrew Amechi stuff. Let's catch up on that story. You guys follow the Andrew Amechi story? I've been following it. I've been watching uh, Nezaville. How, how, how does she pronounce it? I'm always struggling. Nezaville. Okay, Nezaville. Aha, Nezaville. I've been watching. I've been watching her. You know her, her delivery. She does a good job at telling, narrating the stories, but I'll bring you up to speed a little bit. We're talking about this uh, young man that uh, that was killed by the police. He was killed by the police uh, in uh, in the eastern part of Nigeria. Uh, but that story came out after after they found that they were looking. They're still looking for some two girls that basically disappeared. Some some two girls so there's a young man called uh the, the young man that made this story popular is uh what's his name oh his name is on the screen right there activist harrison okay somebody was saying uh, uh harrison was on antibes platform one time i remember that i thought you guys were talking about andrew being on the platform but this is andrew right here okay andrew uh uh has been killed according to nigerian police okay he has been killed uh, because he was arrested. He was being treated as a victim, but then he tried to run away. And then, but then all speculations are pointing in the direction that somebody is trying to hide something. Maybe he had some secrets that were probably going to get leaked. And then some powerful people got rid of him. That's the conspiracy theory around this. Okay, but so far there's been uh, about. I'm going to give you the story. I just wanted to catch up a little bit, right? There's been about uh, eight characters, eight, nine characters, eight, eight characters, nine characters around this guy's story. Okay, so Andrew is, uh, is a guy who allegedly was, he ran away from the UK uh, for assaulting women. Okay, everything I say on this platform is alleged, just so you know. You, you follow Neze, right? I do too. I listen to her stories. Um, all right, good. So let's talk about um, these nine characters. We have, um, we have uh, obviously, we have the Andrew himself. So let's just call it 10 characters. We have Andrew himself. We have Harrison, who is the activist. Um, we have uh, Afiba, who is one of the girls that they're still looking for. Uh, Afiba is apparently a Ghanaian girl who ended up in Nigeria. Afiba is also married. Afiba has a husband uh, who found some kind of statement or something like that. There's also a, a young girl called Celine. Celine is also uh, was the other girl with Afiba. All right. So there are two potential victims of Andrew. Okay. We don't know yet because they're still looking for the girls. Last time I checked. Okay. And then we also have uh, we have a guy, a guy called Ben, Mr. Ben. So it's a new guy in this story called Mr. Ben, who randomly came out of nowhere and he claims that he knows Andrew and all kind of craziness. And then we also have uh, there's a blessing, okay? And then there's the police. So let's just make the police a form of character. And then there's Rachel. There's a girl also uh, who is alive who has told uh, uh, told. The public a lot about her encounter she escaped from andrew and she showed some she showed some evidences by way of uh, injury on her body and stuff like she was on daddy freeze platform and uh you know so there's a lot going on with this particular story what i want to do is i want to play uh two videos to i want you guys to see what's going on here uh, let's see. There's a story. That, okay, so Uncle Ben is talking. Okay, okay. Let me bring you up to speed. So again, two girls. Arisen, the activist, came out and he said they were looking for some girls. Afiba and she, and Celine. Let me call it Celine. Somebody was saying Celine. I said I thought that's Celine, right? Celine. And uh, so two girls disappeared and they still disappeared. They don't know, but eventually Harrison uh, was basically this story started going viral. The moment Harry scene brought some cops over to around uh, Andrew, the guy you're looking at on the screens, 
came around this house and they said they found some decomposing bodies okay decomposing bodies like how long have they been looking for these girls this, okay so they said so now up to now they haven't given any kind of uh, certification that those decomposing bodies belong to any one of those girls they are looking for but they around this house they found some decomposing bodies there might be some holes in this story uh the way i'm telling it but i just want to extract the juice okay there's something there's somewhere i'm getting at here right so so afiba's husband after the now after the story started going viral the guy came out and put like wow she's married now there's a guy mr ben that they found that he's been leaking some quote-unquote conversations alleged conversations between the girls and and uh and andrew the guy you're looking at on the screen and those conversations were reflecting that the girls were demanding for one million naira it's a conversation that says okay uh I want to talk to you and your friend so when are you going to come over to come and keep keep me company that's what andrew was saying and then the girl said well one million naira and then some some part of the text you see what i'm telling you about text messages people will show text messages screenshot as receipts i'm like how is that receipt okay but anyway the activist um harrison all along kept asking they need to sh send the screenshot with dates on it honestly i don't know if that because you can you can photoshop all of that into quote-unquote receipts but anyway so this mr ben guy came out of nowhere and then started what it looks like like he's telling on himself you know he was a friend to andrew and he had a lot of back and forth conversations and then eventually people started asking him i said well you knew he was engaged in a bunch of criminal because he acknowledged that he had a gun he ran away from uk and then you didn't tell anybody that you knew he was involved but he kept just trying to escape the conversation now my question is what's the motive of him coming out then eventually we find out that he's a blogger okay maybe he's looking for traffic to his blog okay but if you're looking for traffic into your blog you can just cover the story i'm doing the same thing right now right why are you so entangled up in the story right because <laughs> nigeria content creation right now content creation in nigeria people are getting desperate all right there's a lot of criminal activity and that's where i'm getting at here there's a lot of criminal activity getting entangled up in the idea of content creation because people are desperate to go viral okay you see how i'm taking my time here we're stuck at 5,000 subscribers for i don't care as long as Ice Ice is here, Bagava is here, Chinye is here, Natu is here, Luremi is here. Me, I, me, I will continue to show up, okay? Because my business model does not require repete, okay? But a lot of people's business model is that they want to go viral, they want to be Sederbudge, they want to be very dark man. So they are looking to be the person to break out the story. So sometimes they are they find themselves entangled up in stories that's not even theirs before. So they are entangled up with people that are potential criminals and that's what mr ben looks like i don't know yet i'm just i'm just going somewhere so mr ben basically showed up and then uh before you know it the police also have a bunch of dirty activities around their behavior so they found out allegedly that there's been some money exchange between andrew before he passed away between him and the police essentially he's been buying away uh buying the police away and li living a very reckless potentially criminal lifestyle okay so there you go so now a lot of people have judged these girls before they even find them a lot of people are saying these girls are all shows they are rocking it they are, you know they 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 charge money and all this kind of stuff so we don't know what the truth is what i want to do is i want to i'm looking for a video here that i want to play for you okay so this is uh this is the this is one of the girls okay this is uh like i said this is andrew right here and this is uh one of the girls that they're looking for right now and this is the afiba ghanian girl right and i'm looking at harrison's page right now the activist you can see here it said stop shaming victims right at least before you find out the full story right now from the beginning i said hey it doesn't even matter if a person is potentially a criminal you should be focused on the criminal activity because you cannot claim that somebody made you commit crime 
if we're talking about okay so i know that's kind of confusing to people sometimes if we're talking about societal level right like nigeria yes if there's poverty it will increase crime we can all agree to that okay but once you are caught as a criminal you will have if you if you commit a crime you will do the time unfortunately you're not going to get to say they may be commit crime you will do the time whatever that looks like so these are some of the conversations uh you can see here this is how's your friend she's cool so now they're starting to claim that some of these uh conversations are all made up by uh what do you call it mr ben trying to cover his tracks the new guy mr ben okay so let me go ahead and play some videos for you uh, because now, the, today, as of today, there's shots fired back and forth between Harrison, the activist, and Mr. Ben, who is also trying to pose to be an activist. <laughs> but I think he has something he's trying to cover. He's trying to, he's trying to hide something. So let me play this video right here. This is a video that posted by Harrison earlier on. Can you have my hello? Like, you have my... Can you... Hello? Yes. Please. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Ben. There's a video you have in your phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the girl. You have that video in your phone. You have video. my video. And that's the you video. Have, you have this girl's video. Friend. I'll come and send that video to you. Tell me. I can send that oh, video to you. You have that video. Video, video. Hold on. Is it what what's what's your name? My name is Rachel. You are the Rachel. You, do you know a girl called Amaka? It was when I posted Andrew. Amaka has a post. Out to you. Yes, she reached out to me. I was like, this, this same person invited me. I was the one that saved Amaka. It was when okay. I posted in the friends or sharing the pictures. When my new happened, I looked, I, I chatted some few bloggers. I chatted very dark man. I chatted on um, this blog with some other bots. They did not respond to me. I was not looking out for myself. I was just trying to save others. But everyone ignored me. I was just fighting this, this battle with you. Just me and my God. That your vi that video. Okay. She sent me my that video I showed to I just add to is that the video? That, that is the video. That is the young lady there. That, that, yeah, that, that, that video, that one, that video. Yeah. That video. And you sent that video on the when did they travel to Abuja? <laughs> when <laughs> they were on the third. Well, when See, they sorry, were, let me cut you short. I'm not sure he sent that video that day because Andrew no, that sent was a message to my mom. And you that was the when I was posting, video. someone you was can, giving and information for my contact. And that was the day you sent the video with a, vi a verifiable point. I but am not sure not that gonna... they sent that because and you threatened me that I had a brother friend. He said, I'm not saying this and I'm not scared of anybody again. He said he's going to disgrace me and my family. Meaning I do send so many of my, so many things about me, even when he was Forcing me for my God, God is my my. So this is mother. Rachel, by the way. He was recording everything. I was telling to one. This is the girl that escaped. Uh, that that had a bunch of injuries, cut all over her body, uh, stitches all over her body. This is the girl that escaped after spending days and after being assaulted, uh, even anally, by Andrew. Okay, so it's a lot that went down there. Uh, trigger warnings. Person. and I believe that person is you. You are the person he was sending all those things to. And why are you sending those videos to you? Why? I can understand your friend. The guy in blue is Uncle Ben. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my Uncle Ben. Oh, sorry. Not you. Uh, Mr. Ben. That's the new guy, Mr. Ben. Right? Harrison is the one in the lower corner who is listening. Okay? Yeah, that, that's the question you should be asking. He sent, you, he sent that video. He sent the video. Listen, please. Listen, please. I know this is a very disturbing. While this live session was going on, this Mr. Ben, people were saying, people need to question this guy. That what is he hiding? People were People were not believing whatever i was saying they're saying he's hiding something why is he coming out to and then he almost then he said something that made me look at him like funny i know nigerians have a special way of structuring their sentences but he said oh he was not broke but his company went under i'm like okay which one is it was he broke or his company was going under did he have one company did he have other companies that were thriving because if his company went under he would be broke it was just all kind of confusing it was all over the place and he was quite defensive so and again, why is it coming out? He sent the video on the day because when that situation come out, 
Dude, you, he said he took his watch. This guy took my watch and jumped. I'm like, I don't know what you're same, talking about. Same, same accusation. Yes, that's same, what same accusation. He accused that guy from stairs. Yes. He said you sent. He said you he took his wristwatch, his Rolex watch. Okay. But why? Now, now, let me ask you a question. My so the question they keep asking is like, why is this guy who is a criminal, right? Who was a criminal allegedly? Why was he sending you all these different criminal exhibits while he was alive? Why was he so comfortable sending you all this stuff? Because this girl said he threatened the the deceased guy threatened her that i have bloggers i will expose you or your nude and all this kind of stuff so it was using that to threaten them and to uh assault them as well as you what's say. your name hold on as guys let me my ask is... the lady a question okay. my, my name, name is rachel, is... rachel. Yes. okay rachel, okay. rachel. 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 how did it. you meet okay how did you meet okay Andrew? okay okay let me ask you like i've been friends with andrew since 20 since last year so, like, Andrew likes to me, does not base in Nigeria, he said he's based in the UK, so we are friends, like, when I, like, when, I, when, I, when I'm down, I will, like, call him for advice, I want to advise me. Okay, and secondly, you have... Alright, so the caption here says, when Andrew told his female victims he has a blogger who he sent all their videos to, I wasn't there. What type of video? Videos of his victims naked and sexually being abused. Immediately, the passing away of Andrew, Ben came out, Ben is in blue, came out and told us he was scared to speak up all this while because Andrew may hurt him. He first started by sharing fake WhatsApp chats where Celine was allegedly demanding 1 million naira and the, and the people concluded that a married woman, that's Afiba, and her single friend went for a hookup business that went bad people have concluded many of those people that concluded you know that video was that this whole story was viral last week so they're probably not paying attention anymore now they've concluded that these girls were luscious this is how media works okay like i told a police friend today that the only people i blame on this case is the police that never investigated andrew before he was killed ben is black sheep archived who ran away from austria uh oh uh oh so let me play this one for you this Harrison, is ben this is the petition that has gone to the ig office you don't understand what you committed yourself to do you are not interested in the girls that is why you went to identify fake bodies mr ben you are part of the people the information that we are getting whether you like it or not you are part of the police people it's like hiding your key and be looking for it it is time for you to come out clear. It's getting clear now, Harrison. You told Nigerians 80 million left Andrew's account. Who told you this? Who did you transfer it to, Harrison? You went to Andrew's Who did house you transfer to, it to? to go and do such. $50,000 is missing from that house. Why did you go to the house without any witness? No cameras. You said Celine phone was found. You never announced it to the nation. You did not video it until I told you about it. Until I told you, until the police told me about it, and I told you that the police said it. Then you quickly went online and start talking blah, blah, blah. The police told me I that they blah, found blah, blah. Celine's phone <laughs> that was ringing, that the police in Abbas say it was ringing in Oweri. They found the phone. Harrison, Harrison, <laughs> Nigerian police, look, look, boy, eh? Harrison is part of the group. <laughs> it's part of the group. And by the way, we are still gathering evidence. Those girls may still be alive. Hold Harrison and Nigerian police accountable. They are working hand in hand. That is why he's been doing everything to cover for them. I told you guys, Harrison is behaving like a criminal. You guys think I'm joking, okay? Harrison has hacked my WhatsApp, okay? Um, and he has basically hacked my WhatsApp. Harrison, you got my WhatsApp. Go through it. You can see the chat with me and Andu. Go through it. You can hack my phone. Go through this it. This guy seems Harrison. like he's afraid of something. You are hacking my WhatsApp. You are hacking my WhatsApp. You. You see, Harrison, it has been very clear from the beginning. You have hand in all of this. How did you know the officers? What is your relationship with the officers? 
How did they call you? How did you call them? How did you find the body? You are getting exposed. You can hack as much WhatsApp as you want. You are getting exposed. Those officers and you are going down. I am telling you. The, I've been watching you. Okay? Please you hit the like button. Hit the like button if you haven't done so. Hit the like Harrison, button. Thank you. Harrison, 10 Nigerian, what you did to spend five years in jail. You are an arm robber. We know it. Harrison, Harrison spent some time in jail. He said 1. that from day one. Million that was transferred to the police. What consigned Harrison with money transferred to the police? The bribe that was used to bribe the police. Harrison. Ha ha ha. This case, you don't know where it's going. Nigerian police will take you, whether you like it or not. Nigerians are easily deceived. Oh, we are not easily deceived. We go with fact, okay? All I'm doing is fact-based factors. Everybody is all fact-based. Because if I would have kept my we'll mouth quiet, too. Harrison would have done his uh, lap dancing, victory dancing since last week, and the case over. But these two young girls are still missing. Yesterday, Harrison said they found some phone in Andrew's house. Harrison never declared that phone the first time they went there. And also, I got admission from the police officer that Celine's phone was found in Andrew's house on the 3rd of June when they went to that house. After Harrison went to see that fake body, they say. And as I told you guys, that body is not a human body. That is fake. And I can tell you this of a certain. Harrison is interested in raising money. Harrison was raising money on GoFundMe to go and do autopsy. My Nigerians, I will consign arrest, uh, uh, Harrison with autopsy. Arrest the body him. has been found. Go and hand over it to the government to investigate. First of all, this is where you know how dodgy Harrison is. Harrison came back to Abba with the same officers do, that do, fight do, do, Andrew. Do. The same officers that took Andrew to Abuja. Just imagine that, ladies and gentlemen. And there are officers in Abba. There are police in Abba. Harrison did not go to them. Harrison has to go back to Abuja. Harrison cooked up a story of organ harvester. Where did he get it from? Which fact? And then when I disputed it, Harrison got angry. Harrison has been to jail for arm robbery and kidnapping for five years. So Harrison suddenly popped up and started a charity and started moving around. He know all the criminal police officers. Okay? Harrison knows them. Harrison was aware the officer collected 1.5 million. Harrison pretended he didn't know. When I confronted him that I have fact, Harrison was not believing it. He was trying to say I should send him the screenshot just to confirm. I told him I'm not sending him. When I told Harrison, the officer slept in Uyo, Harrison did not believe. Harrison thought I have no evidence. He said, no, they went to Abuja. I told Harrison they slept in Uyo. I sent a screenshot of them in the room to Harrison. Harrison is working with the same rogue officer. Harrison go back to me and said I should send him the video of them in New York. I said, no, I'm not sending it to you. I knew that Harrison was working with them. Harrison went and go to Daddy Freeze and lied all night long about how the eye, eye contact, fingerprint and everything, exactly the script the police gave to him, which he did not deliver very well. I confronted it. Now, Harrison is getting angry. He's looking for people to hack my WhatsApp. Harrison is now very mad now because he don't know where to hide. The 1.5 million I told you, Andrew transferred to, to the police. Harrison went and collected the money in cash because it was Harrison that provided the POS guy that received that is money. Is this not defamation like this? This is the breaking news. Harrison is not doing any charity. Harrison provided the POS guy that received the money that Andrew transferred to the police. Voila, Harrison voila, voila. has suddenly turned around and brought the money in cash. Instead of handling the case to the police, let the police investigate it. Let the EFCC investigate it. That a murder charge, somebody you arrested, a suspect, you arrested and eventually pay, transfer money to the police and you went and collected it in cash. Who are you collecting the money to? Who are you giving it to? Harrison, this is the petition that has gone to the IG office. You don't understand what you committed yourself to do. You are not interested in the girls. 
That is why he went to identify fake bodies. You are part of the people. The information that we are getting, whether you like it or not, you are part of the police people. It's like hiding your key and be looking for it. It is time for you to come out clear. It's getting clear now, Harrison. You told Nigerians 80 million left Andrew's account. Who told you this? Who did you transfer it to Harrison? You went to Andrew's house with the police to go and do such. $50,000 is missing. All right, all right. He's repeating himself now. So this story right here um, is a story that, will, that is still unfolding. So what I want to do is I want to come to the chat. All right. I want to come to the chat, read your comments, because honestly, uh, I think there's more to this story and that's going to come out with time. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get buried because there's also been, you can imagine how many uh, mystery uh, mystery cases are in that are stuck in the general police or judicial system. So I don't know if we can count on that, but we shall see. Let me see what Nadi talk about. See, ISIS is engaged in this conversation. Let, let's see, see. Um, did she say she didn't need a man or that she didn't want to depend on a man for money? Uh, let, let's go and engage that conversation on that video later on. I think that's that, uh, Kenny. Overall, uh, I'll just tell you like this. Overall, I didn't want to nitpick her words. I just want to highlight the poison. Impressionable minds, uh, it's not about what she said. It's about what people can interpret that as, you know. Uh, being rich does not exonerate you from having a terrible relationship. That's really the main point. Um, see the Andrew looking like soaked bread with his shoes like uncle, <laughs> uncle shoes. <laughs> As for Linda, she is saying thus because she's on that side. Okay, we we'll leave Linda alone. You're not nice. Uh, that Andrew case is very delicate. A lot was wrong because if the hunger of our police force yes it's a lot of money allegedly exchanged hands between andrew and the police so mop ben came out because he knew they would trace him with the communication you know abroad if you don't come out it's as if you were hiding something that's a good point ben knows everything okay maybe even more right mio i don't think andrew is dead also i think the two girls are still alive okay actually we hope so and safe too and sound right mop ben made a statement while trying to hard to rope ari he said ben said we are still gathering evidence those girls may still be alive with this statement so sure 80 percent those girls are alive we shall see it's unfolding many ladies do this so they confide on strangers online with feast on their vulnerability to get them yes absolutely you gotta be careful with that ladies you gotta be careful confiding in strangers uh some of these guys are just very good at making you feel comfortable enough you start talking without even knowing it just just talking just chatting anyway fifty thousand dollars does andrew do bdc where well, they said he was rich he kept claiming that he was rich he's a rich not even worse he's a rich of course he's scared loki threatening everyone we shall see Look, MOP, I says, I says, does these things work? Only Ghana and Niger can request for this guy to be a part of the investigation as in question him. We shall see. Andrew is a UK citizen, so you can, UK can request for how and why Andrew was killed. True, absolutely. Ben will land MMIA before he knows. My own is, let's see these girls, shall. Look, Niger, good police can crack anything just watch how it will play out we shall see it's unfolding right uh i actually find it very interesting the 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 reason why i'm covering it today is the back and forth between harrison and uh and ben i found it interesting definitely harrison seemed a lot more composed and also in terms of his being to jail he's been quite transparent about that not to why he went to jail he just said he went to jail for something he did not do that's what he said but uh, I'm not sure, but this guy is saying he went to jail because he was, he was a criminal. But people can change their lives, so I don't know. We shall see. Uh, ben, why did Andrew trust you so much? Do you know what it means for a psycho to trust you? I know. <laughs> right? 
I actually, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> I don't know psychos. Ben knew he was a wanted man but did report but kept visiting Andrew in Niger. Oh, see, he was visiting. He was like a friend. He said he knew a lot, you know. Bola said Ben is a key witness, potentially an accomplice. So let's keep cover. Let's keep. I will continue to pay attention to it to see if there's any more we can bring to the table about this. Do me a favor, hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications. Check out this next segment. I'll be right back. We offer evidence-based relationship and marriage resources and coaching to help you navigate the difficult times. Don't just wing it. Learn the principles that work. Download our two free books and book your complimentary coaching session now at manofprestige.com.